morning, Academy. I just got back from churning some butter. Good eye. It's a beautiful Thursday at CJ, and it is a 1.40. <laughs> Look at this view of a prairie dog I got here. Let's begin this day with prayer and pledge. For all the seniors who still have to make a college decision. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning Offering God, our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, joys, and sufferings, in reparation for sin, and in union with the heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit, who guided Jesus, be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray for all the apostles of prayer, and for the intentions of our Holy Father. Prayer to the Holy Trinity. O most holy Trinity, you who exalt the humble and confound the proud, deign to hear my prayer, granting me through the intercession of your faithful servant, Blessed Clelia, the grace I ardently desire. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Blessed Clelia, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two weeks have been exhausting. I'm lost in my imagination. Today is a B day, and make sure to conjure up some class points. A great big day of birth to Sophie Metzner, Caroline Stoy, and Maddie Martha. You're one step closer to the rest of your life. I know what I can do, catch some crocs. But for some of our pals who don't know what they want to do, we have the college counselors here to guide us. Let's send it on over to the Outback. Can you come through? This is the final college report for this school year. But what a lineup we have for you in the library this Thursday at 1.40. Illinois College is visiting. This small college has strong programs in biology, English, chemistry, psychology, business, history, and political science. They also have a wildlife management degree and will have one of our wonderful athletes on their campus next year. Their tuition also includes textbooks. Another great small school, William Woods, is visiting. Woods has outstanding degrees in sign language, art, education, legal studies, communication, athletic training, and equestrian science. Woods boasts a high student placement in Mizzou's vet school. University of Missouri-St. Louis will add to this mix. UMSL has excellent programs in criminal justice, business, nursing, and education. They even have a joint engineering program with Washington University. Last but certainly not least, we have a representative from the United States Air Force Academy where you can receive an excellent edu education free and still be able to serve your country. They might, this might be the last report, but Franklin University, a small school from Indiana with strong programs in biology and psychology and the National Guard who can offer you another way to pay for college if you're interested in the military, will also be here on April 25th, so don't miss them. I have four drawings and today and then I'll see you next year. Okay, we have 
Nicole Klein, Angie Melita, Lauren Pluff, and Lily Riddell. Rattle. Thank you. utterly amazing. I sure do agree. Do you also know that CJ has the best spirit? I sure do. We have a special video about what us CJ girls believe. Let's continue on. I believe. I believe in spreading love. I believe in standing up for what is right. I believe in respecting life. I believe in a strong Catholic education. My faith has really impacted my life because it's kind of given me a game plan of how I should live my life and the rules that I should be following. And a lot of like people in my life that I really look up to and admire are people that I have met through my faith, like theology teachers or seminarians or youth ministers at youth groups. So it's been a really big part of my life to kind of help me down my path and what I should be doing and what decisions I should be making. I've only been to Catholic school, kindergarten through college, and just kind of the community of knowing that I'm surrounded by people who support me in my faith journey and kind of can relate to me about the saints I'm devoted to or wanting to go to adoration or um, in college finding a group to pray night prayer or morning prayer or hanging out with the monks it kind of brings you together in a way that I think other types of communities don't have. I think the Catholic education makes kids more well-rounded like even if the kids themselves don't identify as Catholic. I think that just having Catholic teachers, if they're living their faith well, they have a sense of purpose for educating the kids and they let that show through their work. So I think it makes us all a little more well-rounded and it's just, it gives us more a sense of community. My faith has greatly impacted my life. It's the absolute center of my life and that all started when I was in grade school at a Catholic private grade school and Coming into Corriezu, it's only grown through the different retreats I've been on with my class and our theology curriculum over the past three years has not only educationally informed my knowledge of theology, but it's helped me grow as like a young Catholic woman. Annual Catholic Appeal helps people of all ages from all backgrounds in all different service situations to like benefit them and help their organization, which I think is incredibly important, especially for us all to come together to help each other. The AC is important because that it is a big fundraising campaign every year and it raises money for so many different organizations throughout the Archdiocese. It does so much good and I love that our church is a church of charity and of giving. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe faith and education go hand in hand. Wow, very nice. I agree. I just remembered I must milk my cows. But do we have anything else today? Crikey, we got another one. Another video from our mate, Brooke. Let it play.
whenever uh, sometimes you're in a theater, <laughs> excuse me, a theater, and it gets awkwardly quiet because somebody told a joke and it wasn't funny. So, you know. None of my talents are appropriate for Corey Azu. Look at the time! Oh my! It's time to do a hop, skip, and a step to class. Time to fetch another spectacular day at the CJA. See you again. I'm Dorothy Gale. And I'm Steve Irwin. Remember to churn some butter. And catch some crocs. Let it